Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is June 21st, 2016. We're in Bluffton and Hampton Lake. And we're here to see this beautiful brand new home by Logan Homes. It's listed with Hampton Lake Realty at number four Sweet Pond Court. A brand new home. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two car garage, front porch, covered screened back porch with bonus room up over the garage. It's a real beauty. Lots of interesting features inside. We're gonna walk through it, see what you think. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 40 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. I don't work for Logan Homes, Hampton Lake Realty, or Hampton Lake. I work for you, ladies and gentlemen, with the right agreement, of course, which is easy to do because I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close by the commission, which is already in the price of every listed home and new build, including this one by Logan Homes. Well, we're just looking around the neighborhood here on Sweet Pond Court. And it's, of course, very attractive and upscale. More about the neighborhood as we go along. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty. And I'm the Gated Community Specialist, ladies and gentlemen. And both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And, of course, Hampton Lake is a gated community with a 24-hour guarded security gate and really some of the very best recreational amenities in the entire low country here Hilton Head Island and Bluffton Low Country we're talking about a beautiful uh, lake with 165 acres uh, which is uh, navigable from the boathouse a wonderful recreational amenity the lake lakeside amenity center also has fitness central which is a state-of-the-art spa uh, and, uh, and then they have the uh, Lazy River Resort style swimming pool. They have the, uh, uh, the tackle box, which is kind of a general store. They have a restaurant. They have a restaurant here. And uh, Fish Tales, kind of a game room for kids. Uh, there's a campground. <laughs> there's a lot here. It's a, an award winning community, which when I tour my buyers, through this community. Uh, it is universally uh, oohs and ahs, uh, certainly among people's favorite community in the area. Definitely upscale. The homes here, by the way, range from 334 to up to 739. The average home in Hampton Lake is 512, 761. This according to our multiple listing service that requires this disclaimer that it is not representative of any fact whatsoever, and you're not using that information for a buying decision. Well, I'm glad to get that out of the way. Let's go see this home. It's listed for $405,560, brand new. Let's go take a look. This is the first Logan home that I've previewed for a buyer. And I have to tell you, I really like what I'm seeing here in terms of the architectural details, uh, the way that they're finished. Uh, there's some things in this home that I haven't seen from other builders, and I'll point them out to you as we go. But in general, uh, this floor plan is contemporary and all on one level, with the exception of the uh, bonus room up over the garage, which is something that my buyer said that they wanted to have. We have beautiful built-ins left and right of the fireplace. It is a gas fireplace, or to be technical, it is propane. We have lots of crown molding in this house and a recessed ceiling here in the living room with the 52 inch ceiling fan. We're gonna see a recessed ceiling in the master bedroom. And of course we have our wood floor, which is completely across the main living area here on the first floor, and it is the rough hewn or hand scraped style that is so popular these days in what I would say is the most popular color 
So we have a beautiful wood floor. All of the things that many of you are looking for in a home these days, open floor plan, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, beautiful cabinets, upscale lighting fixtures. This is a upscale house and at the same time at a price below the average in Hampton Lake. Now this is the living room where we're standing looking across what appears to be the formal dining area, which is a very interesting design. You know, I just love it when these contractors are competing in this area as they are. You know, this is the 11th fastest growing county in the country. We're building lots of homes here. Lots of people want to move to Bluffton, South Carolina. And the competition among the builders is really, really strong. Uh, for quality control, energy efficiency, uh, designs, they want to build the house for you. And some of them, like Logan here at Hampton Lake, have a handful of homes which are finished, like this one, which has just been finished. Actually, the finishing touches are just being applied. Or others that are in process and will be done, let's say, in 30, 60, possibly 90 days. When you call and we talk about your real estate needs, we'll discuss you know, just what would be the best for you. A new home, one that's in process, one a resale. It all depends, it all depends, it's just up to you. Well, let's just take a look at this kitchen. It is open with the single level island. One of the things that I notice, of course, which jumps out is the curve, a little uh, very uh, beautiful detail to the island, many of which are rectangular and still beautiful, but this curve is just a little bit of an extra something that some of you might appreciate. We have uh, it looks to me like these are off-white wood cabinets and that off-white is the current trend with a touch of gray I would say is the current hot color. We have a real nice granite top in here with the deep double-sided stainless sink and of course the uh, new generation uh, fixture with the rinsing tool and it's always great to have a window over your sink. That's a traditional place for a window in the kitchen. And we have a beautiful tile splash that goes around the back here under cabinet lighting, which is what I love to see. And in this case, we have a gas range, but to be technical again, it is propane. Hampton Lake is not a gas community, but you can always have your uh, propane built-in microwave, the brand is Frigidaire. Let's just take a look out across and we see uh, how open and beautiful this is with the extra cabinets across the way there to the right. The wainscoting in the dining room, all open to your living room at the front. It really uh, gives uh, a lot of a feeling of spaciousness to the home. And the first floor, by the way, is 1,853 square feet. 1,853 square feet, so the extra size is given when we go to the bonus up over the garage. We will get there eventually. Over here, our primary bedroom is off through this little privacy jog. And before we get there, here's your pantry. And it's a good sized pantry with wire shelving. The wood floor flows into the pantry. I think that would be big enough for most everyone. Certainly would be for me. And we have a large sliding glass door here that gives out to a screened porch. We'll go there when we finish seeing the house. Great ceiling fan. I like the coffered style. Lots of attention to detail in this house. Aluminum frame porch with the concrete floor and then a outside patio the way it should be just off to the left beautifully landscaped private forested a beautiful lot here at number four sweet pond court well let's go see this master bedroom through the privacy jog and in we go and of course we have a beautiful trio of windows here to the back with that fourth I guess it makes a quartet those are vinyl clad uh, windows with interior flat mullions 
And I did not say that, but it is true that the exterior, of course, is your hardy plank exterior, which many of you ask for and prefer, of course, greatly to vinyl. It is more expensive, it is more durable, bugs don't eat it, and uh, it doesn't rot. It is the state of the art in residential building. We have a beautiful recessed ceiling in here with crown molding up into the ceiling. A very stylish 52 inch ceiling fan looking good. Plenty of room in here for your king size furniture. The headboard would go over there. And we're going to see a very large walk-in closet off of the bathroom, but over here to the left we have a second closet, which is uh, great. I mean, <laughs> the more the merrier. And notice the thick, the deep crown molding that goes around the ceiling in here. These are some of the architectural details that I was alluding to when I uh, started the, the tour and told you that I would point out to you. Um, just the workmanship in the house is excellent. Um, the design is different than I've seen from other builders. I have to say I really like what I'm seeing. I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder myself, ladies and gentlemen. And I really enjoy showing well-designed homes that are also built well. Everything looks square and plumb, and the quality is here, once again, for $405,560. Well, let's take a look at this double vanity over here to the side. Uh, we're in the master bathroom now. And I'm trying to decide what this material is because it's a, it's a new generation product. I don't quite recognize it. It looks something like quartz, something like court cultured marble, something like Corian. I'm just not sure. What I do know is it has the integral basins and it has the brush nickeled uh, fixtures here and the framed wall mirror with some beautiful wall lights overhead very tastefully done and we're looking I'm standing in the shower which is all tile and very large beautifully done uh, the lovely soft light brown colored tile this is a large shower ladies and gentlemen let's just back up and take it in and at first I thought that Perhaps this would be an open Roman style spa shower, but I understand that it is going to get a semi-frameless door and glass panel attached by clips just at the end of the uh, vanity there on top of the curb. Right here, you'll see a glass panel and there'll be a glass panel here and then a glass door here. All of this will be uh, topped off by what's called the capital that will, uh, or the header rather, that will come across the top. So it's, I guess you would call it semi-frameless. It's going to be beautiful. And this is a beautiful bathroom indeed. Little extra touch here with the, the, the stack of shelves below this extension here and a bevel there. These are some of the details I was alluding to. You know, you live in the house 365 days a year unless of course it's your second home and I don't know about you but I uh, appreciate beauty and quality and uh, most of my buyers respond to these things and I like what Logan Homes is doing here let's take a look at another uh, difference that I have not seen other builders do this is your hardwood ash uh, shelving uh, where normally in most uh, builders homes they just put up uh, the wire shelving, well this is a wood shelving, it looks to be stronger, it's definitely more attractive. Very, very, uh, just really attractive, really good. And of course it's ventilated, uh, which is uh, what you want here in the south. This is a very large closet. I would normally say for him and for her, but we've seen there is that little extra closet out there in the, <laughs> the bedroom. I guess that's for him. Um, However, I know in my house, I uh, have a bigger closet than my wife. So you have two closets. I'll leave it to you to work it out. You do have the linen closet here, which also has these attractive wooden shelves. Very uh, large, certainly adequate linen closet. The tile floor is beautiful. The uh, quality is here. We have the panel doors throughout the brushed metal knobs 
And again, the tile work on the floor is uh, very attractive. Just, uh, a, 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 just a beautiful house, a beautiful house. So in the master bedroom, your headboard would be to my back. And this is what you'd wake up to every day. This uh, beautiful wooded view here at Four Sweet Pond Court. Well, I think that I could get used to that. Beautiful, uh, beautiful trees. Hampton Lake is a beautiful place to live. And Bluffton in general, ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful place to live. I personally lived and with my wife on Hilton Head for 36 years, Hilton Head Island. We moved to Bluffton about four years ago. And I have to tell you that it's fantastic. It only took me 36 years to get over Hilton Head Island. But now that I'm in Bluffton, I love Bluffton. You have all of the beautiful weather and all of the convenience with more all the time that you have on Hilton Head Island. You just don't have the tourism environment. But if you want to go to the beach, well, you can do that. You drive about a half an hour over to the beaches on Hilton Head Island. It's about a half an hour to Savannah, Georgia. About a half an hour over to Buford. We are in Buford County. I even have crown molding here in this second bedroom. All high flat ceilings. Everything in Hampton Lake has a minimum 10 foot high first floor ceiling. You can trade these ceiling lights out as attractive as they are for ceiling fans, which I recommend. And here would be our third bedroom. Also, you just don't see this, ladies and gentlemen. We have this deep crown molding around the ceiling in the third bedroom as well as the second bedroom. That's a lot of extra uh, detailing here for you, the consumer, making your house beautiful. I like it. I like it. These bedrooms are good sizes. Let's go see the, well, we have a, a, a second bath here. Now here's uh, the wood floor that flows down our hallway to the second and third bedroom into the living room just to get reoriented. Immediately to the left, we have our second bathroom with a big cabinet and vanity top. It is the same product that we saw in the master, but just with the one basin, the one integral basin. We have the fixed framed wall mirror and a tiled shower in here as well with a deep soaking bathtub. You know, so many of you don't care if you have a bathtub in the primary bedroom. You just want to make sure that there is one in the house. Well, here it is. Here it is. And the other thing about that shower in the other uh, bedroom, by the way, as you might have noticed, it was curbless. Just walk right in, no stepping up, stepping down. Quite nice. All right, here's our bonus room over here. Here is our laundry room over here. Let's just take a peek at this first. This has a tiled floor. Your washer and dryer are not included. Crown molding in the laundry room, ladies and gentlemen. You just don't see that. Uh, clearly, Logan is making us an offer we can't refuse with all of these additional features. Let's see another one. Your enameled floor in your garage. It is standard in these homes to have a two-car garage with an automatic door opener. It's standard to see a finished garage, meaning it's sheetrocked, it's painted, it has baseboard in this case. What is not standard is to see an enamel painted floor. And that is another upgrade, which is included in this house. And I say thank you very much, we'll take that. I've always wanted one myself. <laughs> and I understand it's best to have it done by the professionals, that the kits that you buy and do it yourself just aren't that good. There will be a brick step up to your first floor. And of course, this first floor is all one level on slab. Everything is level and solid underneath our feet here on the first floor because it is a concrete slab that this house is built on. That tells us that we have high ground. I believe we're in floodplain C, which is where you have optional flood insurance that should cost about $450 a year. Get a lot of questions about floodplains and flood concerns and so forth. Well. It's not a big concern for me, but if I just was lived somewhere else and saw the news, I would certainly be very concerned. 
Uh, we just don't have big flood issues around here whatsoever. Uh, the ground here in Hampton Lake is high and this house is on slab and if it, if it weren't high ground we would have to build it up more but we don't. At the same time I do recommend that everyone get flood insurance. It's just a good thing to have. You never know and uh, more on that you know when you call we talk about what is of interest to you. Uh, here's our third bathroom off of this bonus room and again we have a tile floor beautiful cabinet same quality as the other bathrooms but with one compromise if you will we have a fiberglass shower stall here it's a large one it looks good no problem with fiberglass it's often the way to go for your second and multiple bathrooms and this is a good size room that could be then a bedroom a fourth bedroom it could be a home office an activities room my buyer said they specifically needed a loft for a pool table which has always been one of their dreams to have a room dedicated to that this just might be that room these double doors take you through to another door this would be your closet that would allow it to be a bedroom and then this other door takes you into your walk-in attic which is where your mechanicals would be located and obviously you have to have access to your attic for just a variety of reasons. Wide stairway here. This is a beautiful house. Um, I really like it. Let's go out back, take a quick look. I'll give you my contact information, invite you to give me a call and so that I can learn more about what you're looking for. This would be our coat closet here in the entry hallway. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company, Go Gated Realty. And my cell number is 843-684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com, rich at gogated.com, and my website is gogated.com. Well, this is a beautiful back screen porch with the additional patio. I always like that. I don't like to step out of my screen porch onto the ground. We have a lot of pine straw here, new landscaping stepping stones back around to a small grassy patch this entire lot is just 0.23 acres not much to stay up with and so many of you tell me that you don't want to stay up with it you want to have a house and not a condo you don't want a townhouse you want at least to have your master bedroom on the first floor you'd like to be in a beautiful safe community with a good social environment and of course you don't want to break the bank with the price. This one 405560, the annual HOA for Hampton Lake here in 2016, $3,437. Now for many of you, that might be more than you want to pay. For other others of you, I know as a fact that it's a bargain. The lifestyle, the amenities, the uh, sense of neighborhood here is uh, at the very highest levels and uh, the owners who live here love it and uh, what's not to love um, come see for yourself let's get acquainted let's work together to find the home and the community for you that meets your needs that's in your budget that has the features that you want you might like something bigger or smaller more or less expensive? Well, we'll probably find it because we have such a variety of real estate here in Bluffton, South Carolina. Of course, if you're looking for a vacation rental type of property, we would almost certainly go to Hilton Head Island for that. And I'll be happy to help you with that, help you crunch the numbers and understand how the rental market works. Out here, there, uh, it's mostly residential and these are people living here year-round uh, possibly as personal second homes 
what a beautiful place to live. Well, thank you. Thank you for touring this home with me today and watching this video with me. If you liked it, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe. And I look forward to meeting with you and working with you as your buyer's agent here in Bluffton, South Carolina, Hampton Lake, or Hilton Head Island. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I really enjoyed showing you this home today. Absolutely beautiful home at Four Sweet Pond Court in Hampton Lake in Bluffton, South Carolina.